All right, guys, right now I'm running this show in OBS. And if you take a look, without me doing anything, it's actually auto switching itself. I'm not touching any mouse, I'm not touching any stream deck, and it's automatically switching itself. Take a look. Angle number two, that was an angle, angle number one, and then it's gonna wait, angle number three. And then after 12 seconds, it's going to go to angle number one. There you go. So you just went to angle number one and it's going to keep repeating until the show is done. Now, what I'm using, I'm using a little plugin called Advanced Scene Switcher, 100% free in OBS. And in this video, by the way, you can use the same plugin to do some cool stuff. Let's say you are recording a podcast, have people having a conversation and you have maybe three angles, you have yourself, your guest, and maybe another camera that's showing a wide angle kind of thing, right? You can program this plugin to kind of follow your audio. So as you speak, it's gonna switch to you. And when your guest speaks, it's gonna switch to them. And then maybe uh, randomly switch to the third camera angle as well, to, to the wide angle as well. There's so many ways to program it. Uh, it can get super complex, but it can also be as simple as just getting you to switch angles. By the way, you can even use it to do some pre-recorded stuff. So say you pre-recorded a podcast, as long as a podcast or any show, for that matter, I mean, I'm not using it to do a podcast. I'm using it to do a, a racing video, right, which is pre-recorded. And then what you can do, you can just bring in those videos. You just want to make sure they match, right? When you import the videos, you just want to make sure they match kind of, you know, the length, everything frame by frame, right? Put them in OBS as angles and let them run, not in loop, all right? And then as they play back and then you can keep switching, which is super cool. Guys, this can save you time because you just you don't have to touch it. It's just going to switch itself. This is going to like can replace actually Adobe Premiere Pro instead of switching that manually in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can just put in OBS and get OBS to edit that for you. And then what you do, you record the program out and then you get a finished product uh, that you can upload to the web or do whatever you want with it. So, so many ways to use it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this advanced auto scene switcher plugin for OBS and how to use it to actually do everything that I just said. So let's not take much time. Let's get into it. All right. So the first thing, guys, that you need, of course, you need to go to just you can go to Google, just type in OBS Advanced Auto Scene Switcher. And the first thing you're going to see, you're going to see really uh, a link that will take you to this page right here. Again, I'm going to leave a link down below. You can just click to that link and it's going to bring you here. And what you need to do is just go to this little button that says uh, go to download. And depending on what you're running, if you're running uh, Windows or Mac, whatever, just gonna go here under Assets. If you am using Windows, so it's gonna be Windows Installer, which should be this one right here, Windows uh, X64 Installer. This is what you need. Just click to it. Now, if you're using Mac, you can go to this one that says Mac uh, Universal, I believe Mac OS, right? And just install, right? Whatever applies to your operating system. Once you have installed, it's gonna show up in your download folder. Just click to it. Super easy to install, really. Follow instructions and you should be able to install it. Now, when you actually get it, I'm just gonna show you just a little thing you have to keep in mind every time you download this uh, type of plugins. You can have to authorize. So it's gonna show up like this, right? Now you click to it and then you have to authorize of course and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get uh yeah actually it's authorized already so i'm just gonna cancel it because i already have it installed but usually for the first time it's uh, mostly on windows it's gonna say you know ask if you trust it is it safe or not and then you know windows is not gonna trust it because it doesn't know the source and you just gotta do uh all you gotta do is just click uh, run anyway so you just to keep in mind just keep in mind, you're going to have to do that step and then follow the installation guide, right? Now, once you have installed, it's going to show up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop, stop it. But it's going to show up here under tools. So it's going to show up here and you can go here where it says advanced scene switcher. So I'm going to go ahead and click to it. Once you click to it, you always have to start it. Okay, so you have 
first in general here again i use everything on default i did not change anything check coordination everything guys the way it came that's how i use it now you can get super sophisticated if you want but i just kept everything or the settings the way they were so here's where the magic happens right so basically uh the first thing of course you need you need to set up your scenes right so i have my scene again this is this is just a different show for you could be a different show but for me i just have it from my front view scene i have my back view scene and i have a split scene where i'm combining both angles right so if you were running a podcast this could be maybe you guest and another angle that has both of you in a frame that's it right pretty simple now the idea is to have obs just keep switching for us so we don't have to switch manually especially when it's a long show mine is like oh two hours or oh, almost yeah over two hours actually so here's what we do obviously if it's pre-recorded you want to make sure the length of each video if you need some sort of matching because the last thing you want is something that's kind of mismatching right so audio has to be matching on both angles and the length and everything has to be matching 100 kind of in sync right so those are things i have to take care of i cannot know why you're gonna be using this for so i can tell you exactly what to do because i don't know your situation but for me I had to make sure my front angle and my back view angle they were matching right like in real time so when i switch from this angle and i go to that it's the same clip i mean not the same clip but the same audio would apply to both angles no problems they are matching the same length and everything right and the split of course is both angles now another thing if you're doing pre-recorded you want to make sure when you add it as a media as a media source let's go to property you want to make sure one it's not looping but also you want to make sure you uncheck restart playback when source becomes active because if you have it checked which is usually checked by default what's gonna happen every time you switch from this scene and then go back to the other one it's gonna go restart again the playback and that's not what you want you want it to keep running and then when you switch to another angle you want it to keep running the background so when you come back to it they are still in sync in regards to like you know the timing right the timing is still in sync for all the three scenes or four scenes or whatever right you need to do that for everything if you live again this doesn't matter if you're recording everything live then this doesn't matter but this is very crucial for pre-recorded stuff now i'm gonna show you my macros now how i'm i actually created these macros so i have a macro number one macro number two macro number three macro number four and uh what i did basically just gonna go ahead and repeat the same macros just to show you this is the first one so basically the first one is to determine let's say how many seconds i want the first scene to run so just gonna go ahead and recreate it so I i'll go to this plus the plus sign and then i'll say macro one but you can name it let's say um front front uh to back right so I call it front to back, but I call let me let me call it front 12 seconds. Okay. Now I want it to run for 12 seconds and then go to the second angle. So for so I'm just gonna call it that way. And then what I need to do is I need to go uh so the, uh, this is how you run it. Uh you do the command and then it says basic saying if this happened, then do this, right? so our if is here so say if okay i mean you have the if not as well but that's a little more advanced we're gonna keep it simple for this video so say if scene one and then you go to the clock scene now if current scene is if current scene is you can choose something else we we'll say if previous scene is you know again you can randomize this thing and it's just make it super sophisticated but yeah we're gonna keep it simple so if current scene is and then say front view this is our first scene it's called front view right and then and then duration we want it to stay for exactly 12 seconds so 12 seconds all right so now we have 12 seconds so if scene one runs for 12 seconds and then we go here hit the plus sign what's gonna happen 
Now switch scene, switch scene. So we want to switch again. You can see you have so many things you can do. Switch program to now to the next one, which is back view, right? Using now we're gonna choose which transition we can use current transition or just cat. Okay, so that's it. That's the, the first macro. Super easy. If our scene is which is front view runs for twelve seconds then we want obs to switch exactly after 12 seconds to switch the back view using this transition back view which is our second scene so we switch that to program that's it simple right and then we can go ahead and create another macro now the next macro we want obs to switch from uh, the second one go to the third scene which is our split screen so we need to the back view to run for five seconds because it's a back view. I don't want it to stay that long. So I'm going to hit the plus sign and then I'm going to say back view 12 seconds, right? You can call it whatever you want really. And then we're going to create our macro here. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. Say if scene current is uh, back view and then duration, we're going to make it five seconds so if it runs for five seconds and then what happens here hit the plus sign then switch program which scene we're gonna switch to a split and then using cut transition that's it keep it that way see now it's simple now the next one we want now to leave now we, were, we, we, we are on the split now we want to go from split and go back to the very first scene which is our front view so i'm gonna hit the plus sign and i'm gonna call it split 12 seconds i mean i can call it maybe 10 seconds i want it to stay there for 10 seconds and then for this one same concept if scene is now right now is on currently scene current scene is we are on split and then we want it to run for duration exactly 10 seconds. And then what happens after 10 seconds is we want OBS to switch to program to switch our front view to program using a cut transition. And that's it. So now we have a loop. So we're running our first scene for 12 seconds. And then after 12 seconds, he switch to the back view for 12 seconds i think this one we want it to be five seconds so this is five seconds right and then after that he switch to the split screen for 10 seconds and then after that the split screen is gonna uh, go back to the front view and it's gonna do another 12 seconds and then it's gonna keep doing the loop just gonna keep going now Again, as I mentioned, guys, you can add, you can leave it the way it is. Like right now, it looks fine. But if you don't want it to be kind of random, that's where I added this is not random. But if you don't want it to be super repetitive uh, for someone who's watching, maybe, you know, the human eye may, the human brain may detect some repetition, right? It's still kind of complex, but you don't want it to be too repeating the same thing. You know, you want to kill the pattern a little bit. So that's where I added this one right here, which is if macro uh, split to front, which is the, the, the last one, okay, runs after running three times to do some random action. So basically how I did it, I just added to say, you can call it random boredom healer, right? Hit OK. And then we can put it at the end. So... And then what we want to do, hit the plus sign if, let's say, macro condition states, macro run count. So after we run it three times, let's, let's choose which one. So let's choose, let's say, we can choose any of these. So we, so we can choose this one, split 10 seconds, or even the front 12 seconds. The first one was ex executed exactly three times so every three times okay every three times basically this thing happens it's like a cycle 
what happens we hit the plus sign so what happens is we need to choose something called random yeah random so basically random says randomly run any of the following macros okay so basically just gonna choose any random macro and just run it just to kill the uh, the repetition thing so we can choose any macro that we want so front to back or we can choose back view five seconds hit okay and we can even add the other one split 10 seconds and hit okay so basically it's like randomly run any of the following so sometimes may run the five seconds thing or sometimes may run the 10 seconds thing you just just gonna make sure something random happens and that's pretty much it guys again you can go ahead and choose whatever applies to you as you can see you have so many other options like you can just it doesn't have to be like using scenes you can use audio you can use date you can use display you can use a folder watch you can use hard key it could be something that you trigger on, on your stream deck it could be so i mean like just go ahead and play with it again you don't want to confuse yourself just do whatever applies to you what you need in the moment and it just it should do the work right that's pretty much it now to test it i can go ahead and uh disable the ones that i had running before and then use the ones that i have now right so go back here hit start and let's see if it's actually working so now we are on scene one uh it should, it should stay for 12 seconds and then go to scene two there you go so it went to scene two as probably running some of the random thing okay so there was a problem here so on back view five seconds i did not add five seconds so as you can see that's why i did pia, pia. So i forgot to put five seconds here right so i have to do for exactly five seconds so now it should be fixed so let's watch it again all right so wait for 12 seconds There you go. Now it's working. Should stay there for five seconds and then switch to the split. Stay there for 10 seconds and go back to the first one. And it should actually, after it gets there, it should repeat the whole thing. There you go. So that's it, guys. I'm not doing anything. Everything's happening right now. So, guys, that's how you use it. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're using it and you're enjoying it. However, with OBS, it's always something cool. There's always a super nice and interesting plugin. So if you want to know my best five plugins that you should have are going to not only make you look good, do some cool stuff with OBS, save you time and increase your productivity with OBS 100% free. You want to make sure you check out this video right here because I'm going to show you my best five recommended OBS plugins, of course, free. So check it out, guys. It's going to be linked right here. And I'll see you there. Take care.